It's Friday afternoon and a crack team of crime scene experts are busily gathering evidence. It's the scene of the gruesome murder of a 10-year-old boy which investigators believe was for money rituals. Their goal is to reconstruct in detail how the boy was lured to the crime scene which is actually few meters away from his home. The, since the incident happened, as far as we know, this would be the second time. Uh, they, on Tuesday after the court, they rushed the boy, they brought the boys here. And uh, our understanding was that they were going to do simulation. Uh, so the boys could reenact how the incident happened, how they carried out the dastardly act. And um, according to the police on that day, when I questioned them, what they came to do. They said they didn't see the parent or they couldn't get the parent of one of the boys whose age is being debatable now, whether 16 or above. And because to them, the fellow is a minor or a potential minor, they needed the consent of a parent. And so anytime they will get the consent of the boy's parent, they will come and do that exercise. So my understanding is that once they came to do that today, it would presuppose that they got their parent's consent. They wrap up the investigations after hours and move from the scene of the crime. The family of the boy remain troubled as they receive visitors. The National Council of Catholic Women are their visitors for today. Perpetual upon its president. We are thanking them in the name of the of God that the path that they took, the peace way, they chose the peace way and waiting for the law to take its course. We are very, very grateful to them. And the good Lord will replace Ishmael. Ishmael is a sacrificial lamb. That to open our eyes, especially women. There are so many social evils going on. All in the, in the name of amassing wealth. 16 year old boy, 15 year old, what are you going to do with money? Billions. What are you going to do with that? What is it for? But sometimes the good Lord lets something happen. The good Lord allowed this thing to happen to Ishmael as a sacrifice. And then so that we will open our eyes and change. The change should come from us. The change should come from us. So let us all take this issue and take it that vengeance is God. But then through it, God has sent us to speak to the whole nation, to speak to our environment, the people, the youth there, not to allow them to do whatever they like. After all, who, uh, you say, who born you by mistake? The family say it is indeed a tough time for them. They, however, remain hopeful. Samed Akalu is spokesperson. Yes, indeed, it has been a tragic moment for the family. Uh, no parent or family would ever wish, not even to your enemy, for such a dastardly act to happen. It has happened. For us as Muslims, we believe that whatever will happen is determined by Allah before it could happen on earth. And so we say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. From God we come, and in the same God we will go one day. No one knows when you go and how you go. And so it is a reason that we have not taken the law into our own hands. Yes. We believe that Ghana is anchored by the rule of law. And that is why you saw the police continuously doing their investigations to ensure that the truth will prevail. So for us as a family, we cannot talk much. We are more than grateful. Aside from your time, your effort, the risks, all of you converging from other parts of the country to just come to this family. We think that it's only God who will reward you from all the things you may have lost in terms of time, resources to visit us and to have even spent some amount of money and material things to donate to the family. We cannot ask for more. We will say God bless you.